Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Um, today we have a new camera set up. Uh, hopefully it's pretty good. We're not over there anymore. We're over here. Um, and I have been getting countless amounts of comments saying for me to teach them. They're like, there's either people who have been playing the game and it's still helped just by watching me teach the other people. There are people who plan to get an Oculus and still want me to teach them. There are people who want me to teach them now. And to be honest, there's thousands and thousands of new players now. So might as well go ahead and make this for you guys. Um, we are going to be going over everything, the basics, and then if people still want a part two for the advanced things, I'm not a professional myself, but I do have a lot of time in the game, 200 plus hours. Uh, and hopefully this helps you guys out. All right, so first things first, running. That's always, that's what is always going to be your first tactic to getting away. You have to run. No matter if you want to climb, you have to run to the place that you need to climb. So a lot of people I see run like this. Here, I'll turn sideways so you can see. A lot of people are new and they're running like this. So they're in the air a lot, but they're, it, it makes them think that they're moving, right? So you're moving like this, you're going very slow. The reason why is because you spend so much time in the air that you are making no progress on the ground. You need to be running as flat as possible. For example, throw yourself forward. See, I even slid far enough, right? So you want to throw your hand perp or parallel to the ground or semi-parallel to the ground to where you are just launching yourself forward, right? Not like up, because then you spend so much time in the air. So whenever you run flat, you go fast, <laughs> right? Because if you run like this, whee, you're going slow. And then you hit the ground, and now you're going quick. Practice on the strip right here, straight from this wall to that back wall. Just go straight across because I mean, you're gonna have to deal with terrain where you're going up or down or going up something, running up something, going running down something, doesn't matter. You're gonna have to deal with terrain issues. Pinch climbing, you probably heard of this term. Pinch climbing is like this. You grab a wall and you throw yourself, uh, you throw yourself up by moving your arms downwards and releasing while you're going down. So you throw it down and release. If you let go too early, while your arms are going down, you're also pushing yourself out, out of habit. So if you release like that, you're gonna fly off the wall. So you have to make sure your arms go past this midway point, and at this point, you are going into the wall. So like this, Bruh. and I hit the light. So don't release. Now that I'm perpendicular, you can release. So you would just go straight up or into the wall, like this. Man, these lights. And you can use pinch climbing to get up trees, Right? And then another thing you need to know is your hitboxes. Your hitboxes are the palms of your hands, which are right here, palms of your hands, and your face. So see, my face can't go into the wall, <laughs> but my arms can. See, my arms can go through like this, but my palms cannot. Palms of your hands and your face. Bonk. So keep that in mind for whenever you're running. This is a very common juke used. It's kind of old now. Probably isn't as useful if you're going against experienced players. You can throw yourself into the slide and let your arm go through the actual slide and catch it with your palm, right? And then once you get here, you can just swing yourself around. So say, say, oh no, lava monkey. Okay, let's juke them. Boom. Oh yeah. Now again, that probably won't work against experienced players because by the time you stick your arm out they're gonna see that you're about to do that juke unless you get enough speed to go like straight through it they might think that you're gonna juke but you're really not so remember for pinch climbing you just go grab release grab release you lights I swear. next thing we're gonna learn is tree climbing right you're gonna want to climb trees you're a monkey so let's take this tree for example so first of all we're gonna pinch climb right so once you master Go in the order of this video. So practice your running first, and then once you master pinch climbing, you can try getting up a tree. So once you start pinch climbing, right, there's gonna be things in your way like this branch, right? It stops you from going up. You have to maybe reposition your body and throw yourself up and swing your arm around, or else your arm will hit it. And then from here, you can just jump up to another branch, right? And here, here. Now this is just for beginners, okay? So all you pros out there be like, that's not how I climb a tree. It takes time, man. <laughs> so again, let's take this tree for example. We're gonna pinch climb up. See, this branch is in my way, but I'm not trying to get on that branch. So I can just turn my body in real life and keep pinch climbing and then go up, turn my body. And maybe here I can swing my arm around, right? Next, routes. Routes can be used if you know what you're doing. 
Now routes take a lot of time to learn and master, memorize everything. So you gotta get used to how you're gonna place your hands, how hard you're gonna throw, knowing where you're gonna go, and combining all of your skills. For the people that do know how to do routes, Mosa, and I, I don't have any specific routes that I really use 24 seven, but if I'm in like the right situation, this is one that I use. I go from this branch, or how I get to the stump from right here. Cause normally sometimes you're running around here and I'm like, shoot, let's get out of here. So you go from this branch onto the tree, bounce off, go up to this branch, up to here, and you bounce off of this branch onto this one. Boop, boop, boop. And now you're up here. And then you can freely do whatever. Now, another really common one that you will see almost every Gorilla Tag player use is going off of this branch, right? And launching into this wall and throwing yourself off. Normally, if you don't have Rock Monkey, you'll land somewhere on this branch or that branch. And then from here, you can just throw yourself up. Next, climbing this stump. This stump is a icon right it holds the path to every map in the game it has a computer where you can change everything about yourself so how do we get up the stump exactly so obviously your first thought is probably oh let's take the walkway right and then we make this little jump blah 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 now we're up here look computer every other map everything i need right what if you gotta run what if there's a monkey here and a monkey here right where are you gonna go oh my gosh Look, we got a big old branch right there. We can throw ourselves up and then launch off that wall. And then now we're up here. And from here, you can do a thing called a boost jump, <clears throat> which is where you throw yourself into a wall and use your momentum to shoot yourself up. You just launch, push down. Now you're up here. Another way of getting up this tree is this, this right here. So again, you can use your boost jump to go from here to here because normally you won't be able to make this jump. So you can take your hand, throw yourself into the wall and bounce off like that and then you boost jump right here so you run into the wall shoot yourself up and then throw yourself onto this branch then you can come up here oh how could i forget wall climbing getting up these walls and being able to go straight up the walls as fast as possible i kind of suck at explaining things but i'll try my best so my best advice is don't think wall climbing means you have to throw yourself up. You have to throw yourself into the other wall to use your momentum to keep going up. So like if I just try and throw myself up, it doesn't work, right? Because I'm going to get pushed away from the wall. But if I throw myself into the other wall like this, right, I can keep catching the wall and throwing myself over and over again. And then once you start to get good at wall climbing, you can just slowly move your hands more vertical. So you start throwing yourself more up after a while. Another thing you can do to practice is you might realize that whenever you jump into a wall, you have this small moment where your hand sticks, right? So stick, okay, stick, 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 right? I'm like Spider-Man, okay? And so to practice, you can use that. Just try and catch and then throw, catch, throw, catch, throw, catch, throw catch throw that's how you should always start off okay now for wall running wall running is where you're running across the wall like this right now this is for pretty experienced players but i'm definitely not a pro but i consider myself pretty experienced in this field <laughs> if i do say so myself so whenever you're wall running in my opinion this back wall is the best wall for wall running practicing that is you want to throw your hand directly downwards you don't want to throw it parallel to the wall you don't want to throw it um into the wall you want to just go straight downwards to where you hit the wall right but you're not pushing yourself in or away and you can use these corners to have some rebound for whenever if you do start getting pushed off the walls turn to the side right so you, no matter what you'll still go into a wall and then once you get good at wall running, you can start using that to wall climb instead of actually just doing the whole wall climbing thing. <laughs> so like, see, if I wanted to get up this wall, I could just use wall running. Anyways, I know this was short. I know I suck at explaining things, but hopefully this helped you whether you're new or not new, maybe experienced or unexperienced. And, uh, and if y'all really want one, I'll make a part two with some pros that will give you their... Ow. That will give you their help and their best tips. I'm out. Goodbye.